do you see what she's doing right now? She's um, taking her proboscis and she's moving it up and down against her body. And I, um, I think this is a form of preening. Um, I think she's cleaning her proboscis. In nature, um, the the nectar is a sugary a sugary solution, and that would um, that would gum up the proboscis. And I've noticed that she takes those. I don't know what they're called. I'll have to look it up. The the third set of legs that in the nymphalid family are recessed. She takes those and, and she pulls on her proboscis with that. And she also is um, raking it on her uh, chest and um, often on her legs that have uh, spurs. Um, to me, this is a way of cl um, cleaning and clearing cleaning and clearing the proboscis and um, also pollen. Pollen is, um, could probably gum up the proboscis and this is uh, probably another reason that um, and right now she's, she's nectaring. She cleaned her proboscis and now she's nectaring. You know, it's probably just like us brushing our teeth. Uh, we have to keep our teeth clean so that we can keep our teeth so that we can eat. I'm going to let her go. Oh, she's not stable. She's almost totally lost her left wing. Uh, but this is what happens to butterflies who are born during the breeding season. They start breaking down. Uh, they live anywhere from six to eight weeks. Um, monarchs that are in diapause that are traveling to Mexico can live seven to eight months. So today she wants me to hold her. And I'm not force feeding her. She's feeding on her own. And now look at her. She's cleaning her proboscis again. Sorry, it's so dark in here. There's natural light coming through a garden window that's adjacent to me, but right now it has three containers, two and a half foot containers of, <laughs> of caterpillars in it. So she's finished eating. So I'm going to take her and wash her off just a little bit. There you go, girl.